All right, so this will be a really quick video showing you how I crop views in my Revit templates uh, in a way that saves me hours. And now obviously the normal way to crop a view is to turn on the view extents and manually drag and crop the view. Um, you know, I'll show you real quick. This is, uh, this is how Revit wants you to do it. This is how it comes out of the box. Um, that's my little view scale origin here. So if I place it on here, you know, it looks good. Um, obviously you can go over here and uncheck crop view and, and crop region visible. So, um, that's how the normal way is. And to do that, you have to go in and double click here, um, manually drag this view crop, uh, line around, um, kind of tedious and, you know, it might, might be inconsistent on, on sheets and things, but you know, the issue with that is if you change the design option to, you know, in this case, I have different projects as different design options and you want to have one template that can run multiple projects is you have to mess with this crop uh, region every time you change to a new project scale or a new project shape. Um, I have to then go back in, um, you know, this is a, another master planning project of a different size. I have to go back in here, re reset this crop, you know, to whatever, you know, whatever it fits. I understand this isn't like a super long process, but when I think about wanting to do this, I, I just don't want to, want to mess with the crops. So, uh, if I select this, you know, and change the scale, obviously, uh, well, this will, this will blow up and it, it may be the right scale, but we can't really tell. We need to go then here, you know, again, and change the crop, uh, kind of eyeball it to, we get, you know, a little bit of a margin here on the sides, um, you know, and could be spending time doing more fun things than uh, cropping this view, uh, frankly. So, um, you know, there's gotta be a better way. And then if I switch this back, if I wanna switch back, uh, you know, without any lag and, and check out the other project, then uh, I have to do this again. I have to scale this back down. Um, I think that this was 300 and I have to go back in here again and reset the the crop of this um, back this way again and if i just don't want to go back and forth between revit files and you know i i want to be able to handle things quickly uh, i don't want to worry about cropping a view ever again i don't want to i don't want to think about cropping a view i don't want to spend my clicking doing that so um cropping here, here's the here's the issue cropping views this normal way drawings protrude outside the extents of the the sheet when you change the scale like i just showed you you spend time, actually you waste time trying to decide how much uh, context you want to model and capture outside of your site. Um, you know, I would prefer just to capture as much as I can and not worry about it and just throw it all in here and have it work. Uh, I don't want to go back and forth re, you know, re-importing and, and, and all of that. So you spend time doing that. It's hard to standardize. You, it's hard to get these margins to, to work right if you're just eyeballing them. And uh, you know, the whole process itself is, is slow and manual to do this. So. Um, here's a better way uh, I'll show you um, you know in my 3d view this is uh, this is the entire uh, site that I've captured as much as I can that's that's for free and this is actually my title block so and my method of uh, cropping views is to actually just use a masking region that's a part of the title block so if I go in and edit this title block you'll see that there is a pretty massive uh, filled region area covering this entire outside of this um, and this, this is a, just a white filled region with an invisible line uh, or invisible or a white line around the perimeter. And when you load that in, it literally just covers up everything outside of the sheet, um, you know, is, isn't going to isn't going to show up. And if you go in and, uh, you know, actually, if I were to change this. Uh, to, to that and then I, you know, were to change this. So if I just change that that last title block that just had the, the perimeter line to the one that has the mast region, um, you can make this you know, whatever small scale you want and it'll, it'll crop in there. And, and actually on this other sheet, I have a legend with the white filled region in here that's actually masking this portion. So, um, you know, I can have notes or, or you know, narrative or, or whatever that I wanna put on there. So no matter what I do to this, uh, if I change the scale to hundred it'll it'll pop up and blow up that way and then I can just switch to project one or, or to this other this other project and boom already looks good it already looks exactly how we want we don't have to ever mess with 
uh, with ever cropping again. And so, you know, that's going to work on not just your plan views. Uh, it's great for like a view like this. I have uh, a Google Earth kind of snapshot behind everything. I can capture basically as much as I want outside of the site, not have to worry about if have I've captured the right shape or whatever. Just capture as much as you can and, and throw it in and the title block will take care of the, the cropping um, itself, no matter what scale or whatever thing you're, you're working with. And so the cool thing is that that also will work um, with a 3D view like this. If I zoom out, um, it's cropping out everything outside of this 3D view. I can really just, uh, you know, quickly change this to, I don't know, another totally different sample project, uh, blow the scale up and, and you get the idea. It'll, it'll work a lot faster that way. Um, the only caveat to, um, to this method is if I go into the title block here, in order to get this to print right, you have to have an equal distance from the edge of the sheet so that this sits perfectly in the middle because you're going to center this when you print it. You need this this distance and this distance all around the perimeter for this filled region uh, has to be the same. So if I go back in and uh, print, I'll show you the main, the main thing you need to print, uh, keep your print settings to is if I go to uh, options, settings, setup, you need to have this set centered and you need to have this at zoom 100%. Um, if you do that and you print all the sheets properly, um, you will get a presentation that just looks like this. Uh, it crops it and puts it perfectly in the middle uh, because you've got an equidistant filled region on all, all these sides. Um, saves a ton of time and it's a super, super simple um, method to, to crop your views. It's way better than, than how Revit expects you to do it. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, send it to everybody. Um, you know, you can use this in your own projects if you're using Revit in a unique way. Um, you know, and if you click the link in this description, you can actually get access to a lot more tools uh, like this. A lot of these templates that I show on here, um, I'm showing how they work, are available in that, in that link. So that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.